Now we're going to focus on how to use your A Call to Joy one-to-one -one materials. After your small group members complete the Becoming a Disciple Maker small group course, they will be equipped to lead a new believer or a member through seven one-to-one -one sessions in A Call to Joy and 11 one-to-one -one sessions in A Call to Grow. So let's first review the contents of A Call to Joy. If you'll take out your Becoming a Disciple Maker Leader's Guide and turn to page 58, let's go ahead and do that right now. Your Leader's Guide, turn to page 58. I'll be explaining the contents of A Call to Joy using the sequence of photos in this session of your Becoming a Disciple Maker Leader's Guide, okay? So, you're my small group again, and this is how you would present this session. Okay, first of all, let's take out our A Call to Joy Disciplers Guide. A Call to Joy Disciplers Guide, and turn to the introduction. A Call to Joy Disciplers Guide. And that introduction is found on page 13, it's Roman numeral 13. And you can see that's the introduction to the book, and it explains the biblical basis for disciple making and how to use the materials. If you ever have any questions about the materials, just read the introduction. Okay? Now let's continue turning pages to page number one in your book. When you arrive at page number one, you'll see that this graphic looks very familiar. It's the same graphic format that we used in becoming a disciple maker. You have shaded boxes for instructions from the authors and you have unshaded boxes for what to say, and then if the material is not boxed, it's in your New Believers book and your book at the same time, okay? Now you'll notice on page one continued, we have some extra blanks in there. That's in case you have additional illustrations that we have not included, so those are for your own use. So you can use those anytime you want. Now if you'll turn to page um, three in your guide, turn to page three. You'll look at the bottom of the page and it says, you must believe as a blank and receive. Those are two blanks and like becoming a disciple maker, you have answers to those blanks, but your new believer or new member does not have the answer. So you'll have to have them fill in those blanks during your sessions together. Next, let's turn to page 38 in our Call to Joy Discipler Guide, page 38. We're going to give the new believer or member several little baby chapters to read each week. Each chapter is about four or five pages, and the titles include The Love of God, Learning to Walk, The Perfect Example, The Secret of Godliness, and Principles for Living in Victory. So we're going to give them little baby chapters. They're going to highlight the most important points and then dis discuss them during your next session. Now we all know that one of the basic foundations of spiritual growth is having a daily quiet time. Let's turn to page 78 in your same book that we're in, The Call to Joy Disciples Guide. Let's turn to page 78. Now we start the new believer off with a little tiny devotion. We're going to ask them to read just a little devotion each morning. You can see we're going to start with quiet time number one. Then they're going to read the box material at the bottom. We're on page 78. They're going to read scriptural insight and prayer. And these devotions are geared towards new believers and new Christians. For example, quiet time number one is how can you know for certain that you're a Christian and that you have eternal life? Quiet time number two is, how was your salvation made possible? Quiet time number three, what does the Bible teach about the Lord's ability to keep us once we're saved? Quiet time number four, have you noticed a change in your attitudes since you gave your life to Christ? Quiet time number six, how does work fit into the process of spiritual growth? If salvation is a gift from God, what's my responsibility? Quiet time number six, why should I attend church? Quiet time number seven, what does the Bible teach us about time management? Now the next week, the start of the next week, you can see quiet time number eight on page 85. There are blanks at the bottom, but we're going to have the new believer or member fill in those blanks after they 
review their devotion for that morning. So they're going to look at their devotion, they're going to read it, and they're going to fill in their own insights, prayers, and applications. Now the next week, if you turn to page 93, again, we're in Call to Joy Disciples Guide, page 93, you'll notice that we've added an extra box at the bottom. It says, I will. So we're not only going to ask them to pull an insight, a prayer, but we're going to ask them what they're going to do about that insight, how they're going to apply that spiritual uh, insight for the week. If you turn to page 101, let's look at page 101, you'll notice that there, that there are no more boxes at the bottom of the page. At that point, you're going to start them in the spiritual journal. So let's go ahead and take out your spiritual journals right now to take a look at it. The spiritual journal. Page 20 in your spiritual journal. When you get to page 20, you'll notice that the boxes are exactly the same. So your new believer will start writing their insights, prayers, and applications in their spiritual journal. Also on page 20 at the top, you can see that there's a memory verse section at the top. If your new believer asks you, well, what verses should I memorize? Simply go to the back flap of your journal, and we have 50 verses for your new believer to memorize. And those include new creations in Christ, trials and temptations, abiding in Christ, holy behavior, spreading the good news, and discipleship. Also, we have a note-taking section. If you start pay, turn to page 48 in your spiritual journal, that's page 48 in your journal, we have a whole note-taking section. So when your new believers and members go to church services, they can retain more of their spiritual insights when they're writing them down. Now you'll notice that the Call to Joy Disciples Guide is quite a bit thicker than the Timothy's Guide because we have special chapters written just for you as disciples to help you grow spiritually also. If you turn to page 119 in your Call to Joy Disciples Guide, page 119, we have six chapters for you written by some of the best authors on disciple making of the 20th and 21st century. We have a chapter by Robert Coleman, we have a chapter by Leroy Imes, we have a chapter by Billy Hanks Jr., uh, Gene War, and these are the, some of the best disciple makers of the century. So we have these special chapters, so each week as you prepare to disciple your new Christian, we're going to try to help you grow as a discipler by having these special chapters at the back of the book just for you.